Good morning, you Emmanuel. If everybody will stand, our associate pastor Joey is going to open us up in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you that you give us the opportunity to come into your house, Lord. That you, you showed us that you love us and you gave us an opportunity to love you. Lord, that means a lot to us and we thank you for it. Bless us this day. Bless the goings and comings of this house, your house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Y'all can be seated. I want to go straight to our bulletin. We want to say happy birthday to Azalee, to Harper, Joey Baker, Martha, Abby, Wade, Logan, Hunter, and others in July. Uh, July the 24th, Miss Tina will be teaching, and she's also going to teach on the 31st as well, even though it says me on there. She's going to teach. And Mr. Charlie is going to be teaching the teens as well on the 31st. August the 7th is the Waterworks Picnic and the Water Slide after the church. Oh, everybody's looking forward to that. And August the 15th is the Men and Ladies Meeting at the Greasons, 7 p.m. Bring a dish to share. And y'all remember all these in prayer. We got a few out today, so y'all remember the ones that you normally see. Y'all pray for them. We got a special today, Miss Erin. She's going to come on up and do our devotion. Y'all give her a little encouragement. She may be a little nervous. She wants me to do jumping jacks while she's doing this. So distract all of y'all. <laughs> better now I can't see y'all <laughs> I come every other Sunday because you know I have to work every other weekend so two Sundays ago when I was here um, I kept feeling really pushed you know to go look at the sign-in sheet for devotion I don't ever pay that sheet no attention because I'm not getting up here but you know what I think the Lord laughed at me about that he said, oh, yes, you are. So I talked to Misty. She kind of helped me calm down and realize um, the Lord left today's slot open on purpose um, because y'all are here every week. Y'all can sign up whatever you want to. I don't have that opportunity. He said, today's the day, and it's time to do it. But... The Lord also knows how afraid I am of all eyes on me, stage fright, I can't stand it. So I thought a good devotion for this morning would be talking about fear. But there's two types of fear I'm going to talk about this morning. Uh, the first one is basically what I'm feeling right now, being scared to death. So. Okay, Isaiah 41.10, uh, there's different variations of the Bible. I prefer King James, but then, you know, there's newer renditions um, to break it down in layman's terms for us. But King James says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. A newer version, which kind of touched base with me for today, says, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not look anxiously about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous hand. He's telling us to cast all of our fears upon the Lord, all of our worldly fears, our anxieties, just let it go, turn it over to him and actually fully trust him 100% to take those away from us. He'll be there and he will comfort us. Those of us that are saved, we are instructed to put away all these fears and to stand up for the Lord. Yes. We're told to turn it over to God. So, let's see here. Speaking of standing up for the Lord 
Once again, King James Version and a newer version. In the newer version of Matthew 10.32, it says, Stand up for me against world opinion, and I will stand up for you for my Father in heaven. Now King James says, Whoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, I will also deny him before my Father. So if we don't put away our fears and anxieties, how are we going to be able to stand up for the Lord? It's easy to stand up in front of a bunch of believers, but it's harder to stand up out in the world. So I grew up in Winder. That man that used to stand at the gazebo every weekend, that old man that stood out there preaching, he did not have none of these fears. He didn't care if you went by and cursed at him or blew the horn or laughed or whatever. He stood firm and he did not fear anything, except he did have one fear. He feared the Lord. Which brings me to the other type of fear. Get back over here. Sorry, you guys. Proverbs 9, verse 10 and 11. God tells us, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and thy years of life increased. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, simply the beginning. But he doesn't want us to fear him like, what's he going to do now? What's going on? He wants the fear like we have for our daddies. The respect, the obedience. You know, daddy used to whoop me as a child. Well, I didn't want those whoopings. I wanted to obey. I respected him enough to do that. The Lord is also our Father. We should fear Him enough to respect Him. He wants us to fear not listening to Him. He wants us to fear not obeying Him and not getting up and standing up for Him. So when the Lord tells you it's time to do something, you better fear not listening to Him because you just might get a swift kick in the rear. So... That's all for that, and I'll close this out in prayer, and then the praise team can come up. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us all here today safely to hear your word and worship and praise you, Lord Jesus. And I pray that the sermon we're about to listen to, that you would give us the strength and the wisdom and understanding to listen to what is being told. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Amen.